Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. So a quick video here. The new StarNet version 2 has been released and you can now get it for PixInsight. Um, I don't, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail with regards to StarNet. I think most people at this point know what StarNet is and what it does for removing stars from your images. But uh, they did, uh, the author, developer did do an update and has released StarNet version 2. So I wanted to have a look and see how it uh, compared to version 1 um, as well as Star Exterminator. So this is uh, a quick look at that and hopefully I don't get confused with these windows here. I tried to name them so that I uh, could remember which was which. So what we're going to look at first is um, star removal. So let me just switch screens here for you so you guys can see what I'm looking at. The This is StarNet version 1 uh, star removal from, now I use the Pleiades which um, I use the luminance, uh, I have a luminance channel right here, that's a luminance channel right here from the Pleiades star cluster that I had shot, and I thought this was great to try this uh, star removal on because there's so many stars and there's a lot of bright stars in, in the Pleiades cluster as well. So um, this is version one of StarNet and how it did in removing the stars. Okay, so we can see here this is this is what it uh, this is what it did and it removed a lot of the stars that were in there. Um, I think can I go back? Yeah, if I go back there, that's how it was originally with the stars and that's without the stars. Okay, so that's StarNet version one. Now, StarNet version two is right here. This is the Pleiades again, same luminance channel. And I'll just close that off for now. Same luminance channel. And we can see that StarNet version 2 did a much better job of removing stars. Uh, not only do we have um, the bright stars, a lot of the bright stars being removed, but a lot of the smaller stars as well uh, that were missed by the first version, StarNet version 1. Um, you can see they're actually removed here as well. So that is actually quite a good performance from StarNet version 2, I think. Anyways, it, it's done a really good job removing the stars. How does that compare to Star Exterminator? Uh, well, here's Star Exterminator. So Star Exterminator did better than version one of StarNet, in my opinion. It removed more stars. Star Exterminator here is on the right, okay? So it's removed more stars than the original StarNet version one. Did a better job. But it certainly does not compare to, I'm just gonna tuck that up there. It doesn't compare to StarNet version two. So, on the left is Star Exterminator still, and on the right is StarNet version 2. And we can see, clearly see, that StarNet version 2 has done a superior job over Star Exterminator in removing stars from the images. So the other thing that I wanted to show you was um, before I get to where you can grab this, where you can download it and how to install it, um, I just wanted to show you as well, they've reduced the number of strides available. So uh, it's basically 128 or 256 at this point, And uh, the developer suggests using 256 for best results. So leave it at default, uh, 256. You can create a star mask, of course, um, and I've got the star masks that I've extracted from uh, these uh, luminance images that we can look at as well real quick. You've also got a two times up sample. Now this, from what I read in the readme note um, from the developer, um, this helps to improve star quality, edge quality, not as many artifacts around the stars. Um, I think that I, I didn't really notice a big difference with regards to the star quality in the star mass that it produces. From what from looking at the images that I have here, and we'll look at it in a second, 
Um, I didn't see a, a big improvement uh, with regards to the outer edges of the stars being uh, um, somehow improved. But I did notice this, and this was interesting. So this is the StarNet version 2 without the 2 times up sample enabled. Okay, This is StarNet version 2 with the 2 times up sample enabled. And we can see that it did not do as good a job removing the stars as not using the up sample. So the up sample, if it does help improve the artifacts around the stars, um, certainly comes at a cost, I think, in terms of uh, not being as good removing the stars from the image itself. So I would suggest, in my opinion anyways, and you know, everyone's got their own opinion, and I'm sure there's many different ways that we can approach this, but in my opinion, I wouldn't use the two times up sample. Um, it, if I wanted to, I could use it to extract the stars, then go back and disable it and just do a normal uh, star net version 2 extraction on, on the image so that I don't have uh, as much uh, stars left behind as uh, as happens if you have the two times um, up sample enabled. So that that was interesting to me to notice. So, so far we've got star net version 2 doing a superior job over version 1 of star net and we've also got it doing a superior job over Star Exterminator. So it'll be interesting to see if Star Exterminator, um, RC Astro there, if they, uh, if that gentleman, uh, the developer of Star Exterminator actually uh, gets to work and, and improves Star Exterminator to uh, uh, perform as well as the new StarNet version 2 is. Um, now I wanted to show you also the stars that I extracted. So uh, what we have here, this is StarNet version 2 star extraction okay and i just i zoomed in uh just to show you uh what the stars look like using starnet version 2 to extract the stars and this is uh right here this is starnet so let me just make this the same there we go all right so then we can see here starnet version 1 in star extraction and what the stars look like so there is a little more surrounding the stars in StarNet version 2 than StarNet version 1. Um, it is smoothed. It looks a little smoothed as opposed to the original version, StarNet version 1 stars. Uh, the StarNet version 1 stars look uh, pretty rough. So you can take that uh, how you want. Uh, you might choose to use StarNet version 1 still for extracting stars and you might choose to use StarNet version 2 to end up with your um, your stars with the or sorry your image with the stars removed uh, you could always do that as well until such time as the StarNet version 1 is removed from Pix and Sight and StarNet version 2 is is uh, included as part of it but right now StarNet version 2 is a separate install and uh, I'm not sure when Pix and Sight the Pix and Sight developers will be uh, adding StarNet version 2 to Pix and Sight but for now it's a separate install and it retains your StarNet version 1 in Pix and Sight at the same time so they both coexist within your Pix and Sight so just to show you, I wanted to show you the stars there, and let me just uh, put this one back to uh, how I need it, so it's on the same zoom level, and it's zoomed into the same. So this is StarNet version 2 here, just to go over that again, and this is StarNet version 1. This is Star Exterminator, and we'll just uh, do the same thing here, we'll just zoom into the same area. So this is Star Exterminator. This window here is Star Exterminator. I've got them written here, Star X, Star Exterminator stars. So it's done a better job, I think, than StarNet version 1. StarNet version 1 stars seem very, uh, they, they seem very choppy, uh, very rough around the edges. Uh, Star Exterminator did a nice job, um, I think, in terms of the star removal. The uh, outer edges don't look as choppy. Uh, how did it compare to StarNet version 2? Well, here's the difference here. So the StarNet version 2 um, is, it still has the outer artifacts around the star as we can see here, uh, but they've been smoothed 
in StarNet version 2 compared to Star Exterminator or uh, StarNet version 1. But I can show you the differences here, which is what I'm doing, uh, between the uh, StarNet version 1, StarNet version 2, and the Star Exterminator so that uh, you can get a, a better idea and decide uh, for yourself uh, which one is going to be the, the uh, go-to um, process uh, tool for removing stars from your images. All right, so where do you get this and how do you install it? Really simple to do. So, so you're going to go to sourceforge.net, the StarNet project. Um, the link in the description will take you to it. And you just want to download for Mac or Windows, whichever one you want for your Pixinsight. site. Um, there is a standalone version, uh, a GUI available for uh, that works with Windows. Um, so you don't have to have Pixinsight in order to use StarNet. But um, if you are using Pixinsight uh, on Windows or Mac, you download either the, the StarNet version 2 uh, for Pixinsight for Windows or for Mac. Okay. Once you have that downloaded, then it becomes really simple. Um, all you're doing is you unzip the file that you downloaded. You're going to see these files inside that zip file. You're going to copy these three files here and you're going to copy those so right click and copy on them and you're going to copy those over to okay and just to show you that uh, folder real quick here it is right there pics and site and it's this folder here that you want to copy them into so you want to copy it into the bin folder um, of pics and site uh, under program files once you've done that, once you've got those files copied over, all you need to do is uh, fire up your Pixin site if it isn't already. Go to the Process tab menu and go down to Modules. Go to Install Modules. Click Search. Now, I'm going to click Search and it's not going to find anything, but because you just copied those files over to the bin folder, it will find this new StarNet version 2 module. And when you click search, it'll come up. It'll say one additional Pixinsight module found. You click OK, and then you click Install right here after that. Click Install. You can then uh, close this window off, and you will find StarNet version 2 in uh, one of two places under Process, All Processes, uh, StarNet version 2, or you can find it under um, the uh, etc. ETC uh, tab under processes and StarNet version 2 right down there. Okay, thanks everyone for tuning in and watching. Really appreciate that. We'll see you again in another video. Take care for now and clear skies.